Hey what's going on everyone this is iReviews back with another video and today I will show you guys 25 iPad tricks that every iPad owner should know. These are tricks that will make your life easier using your iPad and of course help you perform a lot of tasks faster on your iPad. So here are 25 tricks that every iPad owner should know. You probably know that on iPad and iPhone you can tap the space bar here and then the keyboard will turn basically into a trackpad. Well that's old. You don't have to do that. On the iPad all you gotta do is just basically tap with two fingers anywhere on a page like this tap with two fingers and you will be able to do the same without having to tap and hold the space bar and turn the keyboard into a trackpad. Just tap with two fingers and anywhere on the screen you can move the cursor on the text. You can also use two fingers to easily select text. So you move the cursor anywhere on like a text and you want to select a word just tap with two fingers. You want to go ahead and select a whole sentence all you gotta do is just double tap with two fingers and as easy as that you will be able to select a single word or a complete sentence just use two fingers. Tap twice for a full sentence tap once just for a word. Now if you're using the keyboard as a trackpad and you want to move the cursor around you want to select text all you got to do with the other hand is just tap and it will start selecting text. So basically you just put the, the cursor on the place where you want to start to select and then just tap with the other finger and you will be able to start selecting that text. Now if you have a few pictures that you want to move to the files app you want to save them on the files app then you can do that very easily. Just go ahead and tap through the touch on one of the pictures and you can go ahead and select the other ones that you want to save as well. Go out of the app and then go ahead and open the files app and you can basically just release them right here and you will be able to move them as easy as that from the photos app to the files app and as you can see I just moved them to the iCloud drive as easy as that just drag them directly from the photos app to the files app. On the files app you want to select files of course you can tap there to select or you can just tap with two fingers to start selecting your files. So as easy as that you can see you can enter basically that select mode so just tap with two fingers and you can start selecting your files as easy as that. Whenever you're within an app and you get a notification you can drag that notification like this and you can then place it right here into the split screen or create an app card out of that notification. You can see how easy that is. You can just place it anywhere you want and create the split screen mode right here using that app from the notification. As easy as that you can see right there you can put the app, the notification you got from that app into the split screen and then of course open the app right there and manage that notification. If you have two apps open on the split screen and you want to open a card like an app card you can go ahead and drag that icon and you can only like open it if you place it right here in the middle. If I place it here you can see in that case it will replace the mail app or if I place it here it will replace the files app. But if I want to add it as a card I can just put it right here in the middle of the two apps and then release it and it will create an app card out of that app. So that's the way you can do it to create an app card. So you will have two apps opened on the split screen plus another app, the third one opened as an app card. Now the cards are new to iPad OS 13 and you can move them anywhere on the screen by dragging them right there. So just take them from that little knob right there and you can place them anywhere you want on the screen and when you're done with them you can just go ahead and move them away on the side right there. You need them again you can go ahead and just bring them back as easy as that. So just slide them and slide them back in. Now when you want to open another app once you have one opened already you can go ahead and of course drag the icon and from here you can just release your finger anywhere here on the screen to create an app card. You can open it on the split screen by moving it here and here or if you want to open it on full screen you can just move it up here and you can see right now you will be able to open it on full screen mode. With iPad OS 13 there is a new feature called App Expose. Now this one allows you to see all the places where you have an app open. Like if I have Safari opened here I can swipe up tap the Safari icon and it will show me all the places 
where Safari is open. Right here it's open like on the full screen, right here it's open on the split screen with the Files app. So that allows you to see all the places where you have the same app open. And of course you can also tap right there to add like new tabs of Safari. Now just like you can do with the apps on the iPad, you pinch in to go to the app switcher, you can do the same with the tabs on Safari. So if you're on Safari, you have a bunch of tabs open, you can do that like pinch in gesture and it allows you to go to this like switcher mode where you see all the tabs that you have currently open. So just pinch in like this and you will see all the tabs that you have opened on Safari. Now if you want to leave just one of them open, you can just go ahead and 3D touch on one of them and it allows you to go ahead and close all the other tabs and just leave that one open. So the tab in which you 3D touch, that will be opened, all the other ones will be closed. You will also have here the ability to rearrange tabs by title or also go ahead and rearrange tabs by website. On Safari, when you have a few tabs open, you can also put one of them into the split screen mode. So from here, all I gotta do is just go ahead and drag this tab and place it right here. And now I can create a split screen here with two different tabs. So I have two tabs here. The other one has been opened right here on the split screen. As easy as that, move a Safari tab from a tab to a full app like on the split screen. While browsing on Safari, you can drag a link into a tab. So just tap and hold a link and you can just drag it up here and create a new tab using that link, which you can just simply drag anywhere you want and open it on a new tab. If you're watching a video on your iPad with the picture in picture feature, which of course you can just place anywhere you want on the screen, you can open a new app and still have the video playing right there. You might not know, but you can also resize the video that you see right here. So you can see you can make it way smaller and of course way bigger. Also, if you want to hide it, you can just place it like that on the side and you will see that arrow which allows you to bring that window back. Now with the new iPadOS 13.2, Apple has added a new feature that allows you to hide apps from the dock here on the recent used apps. You will 3D touch on one of them and you will have a new option to hide that app. There's of course the new floating keyboard, so all you gotta do is just pinch in like this on the full keyboard and you will go to the smaller size keyboard, which of course you can use to type with only one hand on your iPad. You can also tap right there and move this anywhere you want on the screen. Now once you're done with this, you want to go to the full size keyboard, just swipe out like this and you will be able to go back to the full size keyboard. On the email app, if you tap right there to create a new email, you will get of course this window. Now if you just type here something and you want to save that for later to continue on composing the email, you can just drag it down there. Now what it does is that it will create those kind of like tabs which you can open later. So just tap right there and you will see all the like drafts that you have saved here and of course you can use this like tab switcher to open any one of your drafts and of course continue composing your email from here. When selecting emails, of course you can go ahead and tap the edit button and then start selecting emails. But of course that can be done easier as well. All you gotta do is just swipe down with two fingers like this and you will be able to easily select or unselect any of the emails on your mail app on iPad OS 13. On the Files app on iPad OS 13, if you swipe down, you will get that new menu right there at the top. Now this menu will allow you to change the view of the apps. So you will have like different views, three different views right here, which you can use to show your files. Also at the top, you will have like a bar, which allows you to basically rearrange all the files that you have on your files app. You can do that based on name, date, size, kind, or tags, which of course you can add to your files. And then you will have also another button right there to create a new folder very quickly. On the Safari app, if you tap and hold the plus button, which allows you to create a new tab, you will see a history of all the tabs that you have recently closed. And of course, you can swipe down here to see all of them and also you can go ahead and tap any of them to open them quickly from here. So if you have like a tab that you have just like accidentally closed, you can just go ahead, tap and hold right there the plus button and you will be able to reopen them from this menu. 
on the files app if you want to move multiple files quickly you can 3d touch on one of them and drag it like this and then you can select the other ones and you can just go ahead and place them anywhere you want on like a new place right there new folder just tap on a new folder and you will be able to go into that and just release them and you're good to go if you're using two apps on the split screen and you want to make one of them an app card not an app on the split screen you can just tap right there on that little bar drag it down and just place it here so just release it anywhere on the screen and you will be able to turn that app from the split screen into an app card so that's it for this video guys these are 25 tricks that every ipad user should know i hope you guys enjoyed this video go ahead and leave a like if you want more ipad and ipad os videos and i will see you guys on the next one